kind of hard to see, but we're out checking traps this morning with snares. We got a super pretty red fox. I'm way excited about that. My first night set. Right around the neck. <laughs> That's perfect. If we get them taken care of, I'll give you a better view. That's awesome. Here's a better look at that fox. It's kind of a blonde color. Man, he just about shredded my snare on that chain link fence he was on. Wow. But he's white right now, so he's kind of ugly, but it'll be a really nice pelt when I'm done with him. I'm excited about that. It's awesome. <laughs> out chicken snares this morning got this beast of a coon and a fox snare anyways we're gonna take care of that is giant big old fat sucker I missed the filming on this one this morning a decent rat caught him a floater so get him skinned up it's nice because now we have bait muskrat makes really good really good bait for all my fox sets so Happy about that, first rat of the season. It's late, kind of late in the season. It's already into, into January, so pick up what we can and keep going. It's awesome. Out checking snares again today. Got another big old coon. And he is not happy. Let's see. Big coon. Just thrash this whole area. Man. Good to get him off the street. Check out how big this coon is. Kind of hard to see that from my hand. It's almost a 20 plus pound coon. Yesterday we caught that one. It's a female. This is a boar, so makes sense. We caught him on a hip catch, which isn't the best, but big coon. Wow. I'm impressed how big he is. Alright, so then I'll check my traps on my lunch break and I keep forgetting to film while I'm out there, but I got this nice trap today in my scratch, so we'll get them skinned up. Keep getting those back, back foot catches, it's perfect on these floaters. Hang an apple out there and got a little half inch hole in the middle. Works really, really well. They come kind of swimming up, jump up, get caught, and get drowned real quick. So get them skinned up. Alright, we got a, a floater here just by my house. I've been meaning to film this because I caught a silver rat last night. I just reset this this morning and both traps are gone. I can see one rat right there. We'll pull it up and let's see what's going on. Right, we'll pull it. I'm just using number one long springs on this and it seems to be working perfect for rats. Oh, we just got one little rat. Somehow pulled my other trap off. Yeah, this is rat has not been caught very long ago. Set it and see what can happen. This slough just kind of right along the side of the road. I'd never seen rats in here, but I had a hunch there was. And it's two and 12 hours, so we'll reset it and see what happens. All right, we're back at the same spot as we were earlier today. Got another rat. You can see it float right there in the water. That other trap's still there. 
Man, I wonder how many more are in here. I've had this set here for I told this. For I don't know. Two days. Caught three rats. It's been awesome. Yeah, we'll keep going. I might reset this. I think I'm gonna pull it for now. Until I can get all these rats taken care of, get them dried and stretched and everything, and then maybe a little later in the season I'll come set this spot again. So I wanted to show you, I just got home and realized that big rat we caught is a silver rat. So the majority of the time these rats are really pretty dark, almost like a black, almost a black guard hair, so then they have that grayish underneath. But this one almost has like blondish guard hairs. So the thing is yesterday I can add a picture. I caught just a little one, just like a yearling. It was silver. I was pretty excited about it, but it looks like I got the, the mom now. That's a big, big silver rat. I might have to get that one tanned for myself. That's very cool. Big, nice, nice silver rat. You don't see that very often, so. Let me know if you guys have seen a silver rat before. I was out checking traps this morning. It was really dark, so I wasn't able to film, but I got this jumbo rat in a float set. Perfect. Yeah, it was dark and cold and lots of cars driving by, so I just ended up pulling the set. And give you a look at it now, but that's the biggest rat I've caught in a while. It's awesome. Yeah, good looking, good looking rat. The floats work great. They really do. Just put an apple across the wire and a couple little number one long springs and bring in the rats.